what's going on rollers happy day welcome to another year another new year happy 2022 so i hope y'all are having an amazing year so far y'all are going after your goals your visions because the bible says without a vision people perish so i just hope y'all are you know going after your goals and your visions putting god first and all of that good stuff so today i am going to actually tell you all how i do amazon relay with a 24 foot box truck and no lift gates probably not going to be a long video because there's only so much i could talk about with this but yes y'all i do not have a 26 foot um i don't have a 26 foot truck i have a 24 foot truck so on a 26 foot truck 12 pilots can fit on a 24 foot truck 11 pallets can fit and you have to remember that you have your pallet jack as well so i can get 11 pallets on my truck so very rare honestly y'all do i ever have 12 pallets but if i ever do have 12 pallets i know that i'm going to have to break a pallet down and i had a subscriber ask a comment actually how do i break a pallet down so what you do is so i find the smallest pallet I find the smallest pallet and usually I have a Gaylord, which is a box. And I take the items from that smallest pallet that I have and I put transfer them onto a Gaylord. So that maximizes the room that I have in my truck. It's breaking down the pallets, condensing your pallets. So you are ensuring that you have 12 pallets when you really have 11. So that is how I break down my pallets. It's not hard at all. Very rare do I ever have 12 pallets. Um, um and i really never run into these issues to be honest with you but um before i load my truck up i do count how many pallets i have on the floor at amazon so i know where to go for it if i have to break down a pallet or if i can just load everything up because i have enough to go onto the truck without having to break down anything so that is how i break down a pallet now there are a lot of questions that are like okay how often do you lose, use your lift gate or do you even need a lift gate with Amazon? Y'all, if I had waited for a truck with a lift gate, I would not probably have even been started right now because I've never needed to use my lift gate for Amazon. Now that's just me and that's just where I deliver to. And that's just where I deliver to. I'm in Atlanta. so. I've never had to use it, but I have seen people that had to use it. I just got blessed by the grace of God. So am I recommending recommending you to get a truck without a lift gate? Absolutely not. If you can have that lift gate, please get it because I actually am going to be installing a lift gate. But right now I have never had to use a lift gate. And I started when I started my runs with Amazon, I used to go to only places that I knew for a fact that they didn't need a lift gate because the post office already has a ramp so i don't need to use my lift gate however when peak season started coming around and when i see higher paying loads yes it can be nerve-wracking because i don't know if this place is going to have a lift gate i don't know if the post office is going to have a lift gate i mean a ramp or if i'm going to need a lift gate but praise god i've never needed a lift gate but that's just how i operate that's how my business runs i don't need a lift gate right now am i going to get one yes because i believe that one day I may run into a post office and I need a lift gate. But yes, so, and I also watched the box truck couple and I see videos where they needed to use their lift gate. And so what I do with those cities, I exclude them under Amazon Relay so I don't go to those cities. So I look out for those cities where I know for a fact that they're gonna need a lift gate because the post office doesn't have a ramp. So I exclude all of those, but so yeah you need a lift gate but i haven't needed one yet so yeah y'all so um but that's just me and that's just the local atlanta region that i've the post offices that i've gone to i can't talk for everybody but that's just how i use 24 foot truck with no lift gate and i'm still making money and i'm still making money and let me talk about quickly right now how amazon relay is right now y'all amazon relay is slow it is very slow so now i have to branch out 
and um, figure out other ways to make money because you should most definitely as an owner operator have different avenues for making money so you're not relying solely on amazon relay but right now it has been very slow after the holiday seasons peak season is over so now i am looking at other avenues to make money because the money is out there you just really got to do your research get in contact with these brokers these shippers try to get direct contracts so i have a lot of work that i have to do and i'm not gonna lie to y'all and say it's been easy but it hasn't it hasn't been i'm in the process of hiring a driver as well because I do, I'm an actor first before I am an owner operator, I am an actor. So it's really not feasible for me to go over the road and drive because I do a lot of auditions here in Atlanta. So, but that's um, the Amazon relay market right now in Atlanta, it's very slow. But some people, they also travel to other markets and they stay there where the money is at. So it's whatever your business model is. What works for you may not work for me and what works for me may not work for you. So that's y'all um, my Amazon journey in a, in a, in a, um, in a rut. But um, <laughs> Amazon, they're not out here um measuring your truck to see if it's 24 or 26 so but i would recommend a 26 foot truck just because it's a little bit of let it's less work if you do have those 12 pallets but um and i recommend the lift gate as well but um i've been blessed that i don't have to use it because i don't have one to use <laughs> anyways y'all that is it for this video if you have any other questions y'all please make sure to leave in the comments because i do see your comments and i do try to respond to them thank you all people have hit me up on instagram emails thank you all so much i appreciate it and yeah y'all so thank you quick video for checking out yet another video with your boy nicholas ramsey please make sure you all like please like y'all please like i see the views but the likes are liking so please like it helps with the algorithm please comment see, please share please subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of the latest content and until next time y'all please stay safe stay happy stay blessed tell someone that you love them and i will see you all later